Hi, Dan here from vhex411.com. Today I will show you a video. Um, it's actually a common problem on these Subarus that the engine control module goes bad and when you replace one from a junkyard your car will not start. So you'll have to program the key and even if you program the key sometimes the VIN number when you go to a state inspection or DQ the VIN number does not match the car and uh, you'll have to rewrite the VIN number. Uh, the most effective way of doing it is instead of paying somebody to program the key and paying then somebody to change the VIN, uh, that's pretty much two places that I'll have to do work. One key, a locksmith guy has to program a key, another one is like a dealer or somebody that has a dealer level computer to program the VIN into a new ECU or a used ECU. Uh, the best way what we do is get a computer identify the EEPROM which is like right here I believe it's 93C86 and then read it with the programmer and then once you read it you will have a VIN number over here as you can see and then the security information all you do is just read from the original and write to a new one it will have the VIN key information just swap it in uh, and the car will start you can do it with a programmer or you can unsolder original and solder the new one to the new ECU. Otherwise, uh, you can have this service done, cloning service. Uh, I believe it's 150 bucks at Carmen Auto. That's Carmen with a K. CarmenAuto.com. And they can clone your ECUs for most of the cars. Otherwise, you can do it yourself. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and like our video and if you do have a better idea don't hesitate to comment thank you